Hey guys, welcome back to Being Ajana Claire, where we celebrate all things that I, Ajana Claire, love, including my love for Loungefly. And today we are continuing our Loungefly Small Shop series with Pink a la mode and my Disney Employee Center cast member exclusive re release amazing lounge white bags. <laughs> Today we are continuing the amazing lounge flight small shop series that I've been doing on this channel where I am introducing you guys to some amazing places where you can buy your lounge fly bags and get all of your lounge fly needs satisfied. Today's small shop is Pink a la Mode and Pink a la Mode is probably up there in kind of like my top five small shops to buy from. And the main reason is they have some amazing exclusives. And in my opinion, they have probably the best rewards program. <laughs> so, so exclusives combined with rewards pretty much puts Pink Ala Mode high on the list. Now, I am going to show you some bags today that were very controversial when the release happened. So if you guys recall a couple months ago when Pink on the Mood did the re-release of the Disney Employee Center cast member exclusive bag. So these were um, a limited edition of, oh gosh, I'll have to put it in the description box below. I wanna say 600, but it might've been a thousand, but there was a, it was a limited edition release. So there were only a certain number of each of the three styles of bags that were released and that made the bags very hard to get. I mean, these bags sold out in like two minutes. The controversy was when these bags were originally released, they were released for Disney employees and you know, they were cast member exclusive, so you had to be a Disney cast member to get one. Um, and they were limited then, and then they re-released them. This bag was selling for like upwards of $1,000. Um, the, the OG model was before the re-release, which added to the controversy um, because it, you know, some people felt like the re-release kind of devalued the resale value of the original bags. I am happy as a newer collector to have the opportunity to be able to get one of these bags that I didn't even know existed. So I have no opinion either way other than the bag is out there for purchase and I got it. <laughs> I collect lounge flies, not drama. So <laughs> if lounge fly puts a bag out there for sale, I'm certainly going to buy it if it's something that I enjoy controversy notwithstanding, unless it's just something that's like offensive to me, but I digress. <laughs> so the first bag in this collection, and it, there's no particular order, it's just the order that I'm showing them in, is this gorgeous snow white bag. So at the top, you have the evil queen in her old lady form where she brings snow white the poison apple. And then down here on the um, pocket, you have Snow White looking at the apple. You have the evil queen in her gorgeous form. Let's see, move this zipper so you can see her face. You have the evil queen in her gorgeous form. And then you have the seven dwarfs down at the bottom. And then you have like the lamp white back there. So very detailed in terms of the artwork on the bag. And these bags are gorgeous. Like I can totally understand why everybody wants them. The artwork on these bags are absolutely, is absolutely beautiful. And then you have side pockets on both sides. You don't have anything on the back, so the back is just plain. Now, the other controversy with these bags was when they first were re-released, there were some bags, not mine, <laughs> I did a live stream with some friends because I needed some support to open these bags because I was scared after what I saw, but there were some defective bags. Like I had a friend that had a bag that had like stitching all the way through. It's like they started to stitch it, they stitched it here, and then they realized, oh, they're not supposed to stitch it there, and then they 
took out the stitching and it left like the big needle holes. I was just like, and you know, because they were a limited edition bag, the option was to get a refund, not um, a replacement bag. And it was just like, wow. Because when you see something that's beautiful, it's not that easy to be like, okay, give me a refund. Because it's like, if I wanted my money, I would have never purchased the bag. I don't want my money back, I want the bag. But if there's no bag to give you, then, you know. And so there were like some ways that the situation with respect to the defective bags could have been handled and should have been handled and ultimately was handled, but it took a really long time to get to that point. So yeah, that, that whole situation almost, re it, it, it definitely left a sour taste. Like it didn't, it wasn't enough for me to say, okay, I'm not shopping with pink a la mode anymore, but it was enough for me to say, I'm a little hesitant now because of how they handled um, the defective bags for somebody that I know personally. Um, so <sighs> that was the drama surrounding that. I still shop at Pink Alamo because like I said, they have probably the best rewards program and they have like some amazing exclusives, but I will say I have been warned and I will, you know, keep my eye out for how they handle customers in the future going forward. And if we have a similar um, customer service situation that we had with respect to these um, DC bags, let's just say I have to rethink my pink mode relationship which makes it so hard because they release such beautiful bags and you don't want to write them off because you don't want to miss out on those exclusives but at the same time when you're spending your money as a customer you don't want to spend your money someplace where you feel like you're not valued there are a ton of small shops out there and while they may not have the same exclusives as pink all mode they do have you know they do have lounge fly bags. They do have, you know, great customer service. So it's just something to consider. Um, you know, yes, you have an amazing product, but if the quality of the product isn't going to be good and then the follow-up customer service isn't going to be good, is the product really, really worth it? Let's take a look at the inner lining of this bag. Now, there are no zipper pockets on the inside of, yeah. I was just double checking. I was like, I know I didn't see any, but then I thought I might've saw some in the shadow. That inner lining is absolutely darling with all of the dwarves and the forest that Snow White was found in. That's what I'm assuming <laughs> those trees represent. This is a, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag and it has all of the dwarves on the inside and that is amazing. Before I show you the next bags, I wanna show you something that came out while we were waiting for these bags to be shipped to us. The matching coin purses. Yes, these coin purses, oops. <laughs> these coin purses that have the same art that's on the bag um, and you have the witch that's at the top of the bag. These are absolutely beautiful. And when we saw them, we were like coin purses these are not just like little change purses. Like you can put stuff in here. There is room for makeup, toiletries. There's no inner lining. It's just kind of like the old school striped plain lining. But you can fit things worth having in your bag in here and stick them in your bag. So now these were like 10 or $12 and now they're being sold for like 40 or $50. I have no intentions on selling any of this stuff. So guys, these are not up for sale, but I'm just saying like, these were also like a limited edition. Um, I don't remember the edition size for these, but these also sold out very, very quickly on the Pink Olive Mode website. So the next bag I'm gonna show you guys is the Ariel bag. And look at that, we have Ursula who is looking like she is ready to pounce on little Ariel who is just daydreaming her life away, looking at the statue of her mother and father. And there's her beautiful castle in the background. Is there anything else on here? 
that I miss. New, no, no, no. But you have this gorgeous teal turquoise blue color. Oh, maybe it's like more like a sea foam green. I don't know exactly what color this is, but it is gorgeous. <laughs> and then this also does not have a inner zipper, but look at the lining with Flounder and Sebastian and all of the sea creatures. And it's absolutely colorful and beautiful and bright. I love the colors on this bag. And we have the match and coin purse. So we have Ursula on this side looking all villainous. And then on this side, we have Ariel. And she is just beautiful and stunning. These bags were <laughs> like, I, I understand like if you bought these bags as a cast member, you wanted them to stay exclusive, but I'm very happy to have the opportunity to own these beautiful bags. I mean, they are such works of art. Now I will say there is a zipper pocket. I kind of failed to mention this on the Snow White one. You can put stuff in here. It's a very deep pocket, but it's not the easiest thing to get into. And I mean, maybe like a cell phone, a flat wallet, but really if it's something that you're gonna be going in and out of, I feel like you're gonna eventually kind of like damage the bag. And I will say like, these don't feel like the most sturdy <laughs> lounge fly bags to me. I hate to say that, but they don't. Like they feel like they'll lose shape really easily. They feel like they'll crease and bend really easily. So I don't really know like how much I'm going to use these particular bags because I don't want to damage them. They're so gorgeous. And I was so lucky to get bags that were like perfect. No, the absolute last bag in this collection is my Maleficent bag. Okay, so, <laughs> you know, the first one I called the Air Snow White bag, the second one I called the Ariel bag, but when it comes to Aurora, it's all about Maleficent for me. So we have Maleficent at the top in dragon form, and then we have Maleficent in human form ready to pounce on the sleeping aurora with her rose this bag is so gorgeous this plum or eggplant purple is just absolutely to die for there are side pockets here's the bottom and it's basically the same structure of a bag as the other two so you know the front pocket is very narrow to get into i wouldn't really use it there's no inner zipper pocket in the back but look at that lining is absolutely gorgeous and there is the match and coin purse and on one side we have maleficent as a dragon and then on the other side we have Maleficent as a human going after Aurora. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> Aurora's castle is in the background. Is Snow White's castle in the background? Let's see. No, there's no castle or cottage in the background for Snow White, but she has her dwarfs. So there we have our Maleficent bag. I am a huge Maleficent fan. I became more of a fan after the live action film. So after watching the live action film, I was like, okay, Maleficent isn't a villain. She's just a woman scorned. And we all know what happens when you scorn a woman's heart. Don't play with us. <laughs> that's just, that's all I can say. Don't play with us. <laughs> so now I told you guys, so those were the bags that I have. Um, got those from Pink All the Mood. So let me give you a little bit of information about Pink All the Mood. I told you that they have what I consider to be one of the best rewards programs. So I will say this so far in my small shop series and kind of doing the research and comparing the rewards programs for small shops, the redemption rate at the small shops seems to be consistent. So every thousand points you're likely to get a ten dollar off coupon what differs from shop to shop doesn't seem to be the redemption rates like i said if you have a thousand points you're probably going to get a ten thousand uh, ten thousand <laughs> you're not getting a ten thousand dollar coupon if you have a thousand points you're probably going to get a ten dollar off coupon for every thousand points you'll get another ten dollars off where pink on the mode differs is in the 
earning rate. So at Pink on the Mode, you earn 10 points for every dollar spent. Yes, 10 points for every $1 spent. Some places you earn five points for every dollar spent and some places you earn one point for every $1 spent. So to earn 10 points for every dollar spent means you're gonna to get to that thousand point mark a lot quicker with Pink on the Mood than you would with a lot of the other small shops. So just keep that in mind. One of the reasons that I shop there is because you do get more points. The quicker you get points means the quicker you get coupons. I mean, I got a Tiana dress bag for $17. That was the total cost. And that was mainly because of the shipping. So let's talk about their shipping. Since I just mentioned it, let's talk about their shipping. So like I said, they have a flat rate of $7.75 for shipping and they ship free for orders over $150. So you have to spend a lot of money with them to get free shipping. <laughs> like some places you get free shipping over $100, theirs is $150. Now they do ship only to the US, including Alaska and Hawaii. So they do ship to Alaska and Hawaii and think shipping for Alaska and Hawaii is maybe $25. So that's a lot of shipping. <laughs> I don't know what, shipping is normally to those places, but if you're shipping with Pink Alamo, that's how much you're gonna pay for shipping. They don't ship to PO boxes, so you need an actual physical address to order from them. And if you do a return, you don't get refunded for your shipping, regardless of what. So once you pay shipping, you're not getting that back. If you have to return something, they do not do um, exchanges. They only do refunds. That is what their website says. I'm sure they may do something different on a case by case basis. Um, but what that means is if they have something in stock, you have to basically get a refund and repurchase it versus just saying, okay, send me, I'm sending you back this defective one because presumably that's probably the only reason they'll take it back. And then you send me the one you have they will refund you and then you have to rebuy it, which means if they don't have any more, you can't get it. So just kind of keep that in mind too when you're shopping with them. They don't have um, exchanges, they have refunds only. And again, I qualified this with saying everything is on a case by case basis with these small shops because they are independently owned and each owner can decide to do something completely different in a way that is better than what they have listed on their website, meaning you could get a refund for something, but for the most part, it sounds like you won't. The other thing on shipping is like with a lot of small shops, they will only ship your order when you have everything. And I mean everything. And this is a mistake that I made because I have an order on Pink All Mood. They had a sale on some amazingly fun things, including like some ice molds and some mugs and some other things that were in stock when I bought them that are currently out of stock. But for whatever reason, I ordered a pre-order bag on that same order. The pre-order bag isn't expected here until November. So all of the things that I ordered <laughs> are still sitting with Pink Olive Mood that were in stock because they're not gonna ship my order until everything comes in, meaning my pre-order bag in November. So just keep that in mind. I don't know if they have like a policy that some small shops have where if I contact them, they'll ship it. But quite frankly, there's nothing in that order that I need before November or that I need period. <laughs> like it's just like cute little things to have. So I'm not paying extra shipping to have it shipped in advance. So just keep that in mind. If you order pre-orders and in-stock items together, you're not getting your stuff until you get your pre-order uh, and they have everything together to send to you. And the last thing is if you pre-order from them, there is a 20% cancellation fee if you cancel. Now, it's not really been clear on other small shops what their fee applies to, um, but it's almost, because it's silent, you can read it as it applies to maybe the purchase of the bag. Pink Alamo is very clear that the 20% applies to your total purchase, meaning you are paying a 20% restock fee, not just on the cost of the bag, but the tax that you pay and your shipping. Your bottom line total, bag, product, tax, shipping, everything. 
So definitely keep that in mind when you're shopping with Pink Alamo for pre-orders and you're not sure, <laughs> you change your mind later, their cancellation penalty is pretty high. So that is it guys, that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned a little bit more about a small shop and enjoyed these gorgeous bags that I got from the Pink Olive Mood. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe. We love having you around here and I love sharing my bags with you. And if you enjoy this content, you definitely wanna stick around and click the notification bell so that you know when I release more videos for small shops because that is how I have chosen to share my bags with you by not just showing you the bags, but also giving you the experience of the shop that I purchased the bag from. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for watching. Now go have a cocktail and have a great day. Cheers.